van life, whatever you want to call it, it's reality. Where's a van life, you've got to find washing machines wherever you can. Yeah. Yeah. Right, we're already doing a rearranging of clothes and... Nope. <laughs> so far, the view's pretty spectacular. I was actually feeling a little bit anxious or a little bit nervous about it. Coda's legs won't work anymore, apparently. <laughs> I wanted to show you the aftermath of doing laundry um, when you're on the road. Hello happy tribers, welcome to Stanley. We've come to Stanley and it is such a cute little town. I can't wait to share it with you. We actually just arrived here late this afternoon. We've settled in and we thought we'd bring Kokoda up to play in the little playground that's just over there. And I just wanted to show you how beautiful it is already. We're gonna vlog our day tomorrow and show you what this beautiful little town has to offer. It, it's just such a quaint little town. It's so full of cute little cottages and just an amazing landscape. Mary, you've got the keep cups. We're having to, our coffees. I'm not having a coffee, I'm actually having yeah. a hot chocolate. Isn't it cute? It's so cute. Look at the little cabins. What is right there? The water's right there. Such an English town, like you feel like you're in England. Yeah. <laughs> How cute are those houses? All the way along. And that's the map. The joys of van life, you've got to find washing machines wherever you can. I don't know if you can hear me very well, but as Blaine said, we are actually doing our washing because van life, whatever you want to call it, it's reality and it has to be done. So we're just here at the laundry. We thought we'd make use of these washing machines and dryers and get some washing done because we've been free camping for five days now. So we've got some washing, as you can imagine, with a big family like ours. So we're going to get this done now and then we don't have to worry about it for another few days. <laughs> Washing costs four dollars a load, which they actually hold quite a bit, so it's pretty good. And the dryers, a two one dollar coin, so two dollars for twenty minutes. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. And through here is literally this little track. You will find home. Guys, it's sunset here at Stanley, Tasmania. I was just putting the washing in the dryer and I came out and I saw this behind me. Look, it's such an amazing sunset. I'll give you guys a better look. Uh, the last place we stayed at, Boat Harbour Beach, was mind blowing and it's so impressive. In so many different ways. There's walking tracks, sunsets, beautiful beaches on each side. Kids had an absolute ball. We've come to the Stanley and I think I like it even more here. It's so fascinating, the different places in Tasmania. It is morning time and we are ready to conquer the nut. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have ever heard of the nut, but we're going to head off and try and conquer it today. We're going to see how far we can get up it. Hopefully we get the whole way up, but you never know. We'll see how we go with a toddler and a baby, but I'm excited. Excited, Harves? You ready for yep. this? I'm a bit nervous. I'm not sure how long or how hard this climb is going to be. I know. I know. From where we are, it actually looks pretty steep. So yeah, I'm actually a little bit nervous, but I'm looking forward to it. Are you pumped? Yeah. Pumped. Lily, are you ready? You ready to climb the big nut? <laughs> bee watching. You bee watching. Can you see any bees? Yeah, we've got bumblebees. Which Where? Are... Where are they? Uh, there's one over here. <gasps> look, oh my gosh. I don't know if you guys can see. Oh, here, Ruth, look, oh, right here. Right there. Oh my goodness, look at it. It's a bumblebee. It's so cute. And then you have your normal bees. Look, oh my goodness. Look how cool that is. Yeah. I'm just teaching Koda about the bees. The last time I saw a bumblebee was when I was in England oh, and they're just the cutest baby. thing. They look like little baby. fluffy balls. Baby, baby. 
<laughs> All right, Kokoda, are you ready to climb the nut? That's a beaver. He's too fascinated with the <laughs> bees. Are you ready to climb yeah. the nut? Yeah, oh, I don't know yet. Let's get to the bottom and look up and we'll see. We'll see how we go. Okay, so I've got Lily in the carrier here. You ready for this? So the first, this isn't even the star. This is just steps to get to the star. <laughs> We're already doing a rearranging of clothes and can you hold it for a sec? Yeah. <laughs> literally. <laughs> we've done one flight we've of stairs. We've done one flight of stairs and we're puffed already. It's actually steep down there. It is. Yeah. But yeah. Steps with the baby. <sighs> but we still have to go all the way up to the top of that. But lucky we're so fit. <laughs> okay Leo, you're going on my back now. Backpack baby. Yeah, backpack baby. We're having some difficulties. <laughs> oh, yeah. Your trusty assistant. Alright, we're ready to go. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, we're ready to go. We'll see. Let's do this. Fine. Says the nut is that way. I think it's pretty correct. That's it, guys. That's what we're climbing today. <laughs> we can do it. First hill. <laughs> so far, the view's pretty spectacular. And we're not even at the top yet. Why walk when you can ride? It's actually a good question. So you do have the option to go up this chairlift here if you don't want to do the walk. But I think we can do it. So you've got a zigzag. 430 meter track grade three, the nut circuit two meters grade three, high field lookout 250 meters grade two. So we're coming up the track. Look behind. There's us. the view. Lily's enjoying the view. It's actually very hard for mum and dad because they have to carry babies. It's a very steep track. This is the view from halfway. <laughs> from, I don't even think it's halfway. All right, so we've got to this point. We're not at the top yet, but we've just had a drink. Got the, got the cart, the uh, chairlifts going above us. And we've got one more little bit to conquer. And then we're at the top, guys. Yep. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. You ready, Codes? You want to go? I just got the right idea. But actually, we're enjoying the exercise, but I tell you, carrying this little one on my back is definitely adding to the experience. The end is inside. <laughs> Yay! Now this is more my pace. This is nicer. <laughs> Okay, so we're at Highfield Lookout now, and it's pretty spectacular. And this isn't even the main lookout, but it's pretty good. I reckon it looks really cool. It's amazing how high up we are. And there's our little home away from home. Hiding behind the tree. Stanley Cabins and Tourist Park. I can see our caravan and our car just behind a tree right at the back. We're hiding. But I just love how close it is to the actual nut. We literally walked from all the way down there, up this mountain. We have a really amazing view. If we literally step out onto one of those roads there in the caravan park, all you can see if you're looking this way is this amazing. I know, it's so beautiful. Time for some morning tea. Kokoda's happy, That's he's got some sultanas. Do quokkas eat sultanas? I think they do. <laughs> Lily wants a sultana too. Just thought we'd stop and have a little rest. Definitely think it's worth the exercise and the walk coming up here. It's so beautiful. That's just a really peaceful, nice spot to be.
well it's pretty beautiful and it's definitely well worth the walk up the mountain i think don't you it is it looks pretty daunting guys when you first get to the bottom of the mountain it's very steep but i did it with coda on my shoulders and ruth did it with lily on her on back, back and it probably took about 15 minutes to get yeah. to the top yeah well, read things to say that it takes like an hour and a half but that's when you get up the top and you walk around the whole top of the mountain the nut um so yeah it's definitely worth it the view is amazing if you come to stanley you have to check out the nut because it's pretty cool and i just love that we have literally walked from our caravan this morning all the way up through the little town and then up, up to here it's just everything's so close too we um denied about it and we just did it and i'm super happy yeah that we did. me too i was actually feeling a little bit anxious or a little bit nervous about it because i wasn't sure if i was fit enough to walk up it because it just seems so steep but if i can do it with lily on my back um you know i think well it's the good thing is there's little rest stops up yeah. as you come up take your so time. you can just take your time stop we just stopped had a drink had a look at the view and off we went again and we got here didn't we Lil? We got here, we made it. So we're just going to keep walking around now and check out the rest of this little walkway and then probably go and grab some lunch because I think we've worked up our appetite yeah. now. Where's that Officially tired Lily out. Hmm. She's asleep. Kokoda's legs won't work anymore apparently. <laughs> but we are on the home stretch. We're heading down the hill now. It's pretty steep. But I think we can do it. Mm-hmm. Let's go. How's the shoulders? back from our little adventure up on the nut and it was so much fun I'm so glad we did it and made the effort to go up I was a little bit hesitant but I'm glad we did it it was beautiful as you guys would have seen from the footage but I, I wanted to show you the aftermath of doing laundry um, when you're on the road but look at this load of washing to fold and then we've got more to do before we leave lucky kakoda's happy to sit for a little while whilst mama bear folds some washing but yeah we're just going to finish doing our washing and then we're probably going to pack up and head off to our next destination tonight can't wait to show you guys where we end up but i just also wanted to give a big huge shout out to one of our subscribers mia she met us when we first got here in olverston and she she came up to us in the street and just said hi and kindly offered to make a sign for our and we're so happy with the sign so Mia thank you so much I'm gonna go and show you guys but it looks amazing and it, it was just so kind of her to make it for us so uh, let's go and have a look da, da, da. there it is it looks so good I'm so impressed and it matches everything really well and we're super happy with it our happy tribe live love respect family fun and adventure so there you go guys, pretty cool, hey? I'm super impressed with it and I just wanna thank you again, Mia, for stopping us in the street and saying hello and then offering to make such an awesome sticker for our van. Thank you so much for your kindness. Unfortunately, you guys can't comment on our videos at the moment. I'm sure YouTube will sort everything out, but for the time being, if you wanna contact us, head over to our Instagram page, Our Happy Tribe, 
and support us over there give us some comments and let us know that you're enjoying our videos because without your comments we can't communicate with you guys and we really miss that so please head over to our happy tribe on instagram and also facebook and connect with us that way as that's the end of the vlog thank you again to mia for making us our amazing sticker that's the end of our stanley trip we've enjoyed traveling up the nut and seeing all of the amazing views it was certainly a cool experience for all of us we're going to end the vlog now and continue packing up and getting ready for our next destination give this video a like subscribe if you haven't already and until next time don't forget to live love and respect bye Oh.